we are a student of industrial engineering at the University of Sonsonate. In the next video, we are going to do an experiment. We will work with different sprint gauges, CNIC, C16C, and C32C sprint, and with different weight that will be applied to set sprint with uh, 6, 10, and 12 pounds. Study the behavior, resistance, and elasticity of each of the springs to apply these forces, and we will observe how much they will stretch and return to their initial measure. For the next exercise to be performed, we will observe the resistance and elasticity of three different springs. But what we will seek to find is how much it will be a state after applying three different forces. That is to say, if it returns to its initial measure or it lets a little more stretched. For this, we will occupy the following types of springs measured in inches. 1. Spring C9C 2. Spring C16C and 3. Spring C32C The weights we will have will be measured in free stretched 1. Weight of 6 pounds 2. Weight of 10 pounds and 3. Weight of 12 pounds We are going to do the groups with the three types of spring shown. Starting with a weight of six pounds, this will be the force that we are going to apply to the spring. First, with a C9C spring with an initial measurement of 27 divided by 16. We are going to apply the force and left for a minute. Now we are going to remove the force and take the final measurement. For our second probe, we have the same force of 6 pounds and now we have a spring of C16C that has an initial measurement of 45 divided 16. We are going to apply the force and left for a minute too. Now we are going to remove the spring and take the final measure. Now we are going to do our third proof with the same force of 6 pounds but now with a C32C spring we are going to do the same we will left for a minute in the scale now we are going to remove the spring and take the final measurement I am going to continue with our experiment. We will not or carry a proof with the three types of sprints 
shown above, but now with the weight of 10 pounds. Starting with the C19 that has an initial measurement of 27 divided 16 inches, we apply the weight of 10 pounds and leave around 1 minute. Then we are going to remove it and take it the final measure. Now we will perform the proof with the spring C16C which has an initial measurement equal to 45 divided 16 inches. We apply the weight of 10 pounds and leave for one minute. After a minute, we remove it and we can take the final measure of set spring. And to final the proof with the spring C32C which has an initial measurement equal to 25 divided 8 inches. We apply the weight of 10 pounds and yield for 1 minute. After a minute, we remove it and we can take the final measure. We are to continue with the prop and this time we will apply a board of 12 pounds to the former uh, spring. We start with the C90 uh, spring that has an initial measure of 27 divided 16 inch. We will leave it for a one minute. We are going to remove and the tape the final measure. Okay, bro, we have the same for this time applied to a 16C initial measure spring of 45 divided 16. We will leave it for a one minute. And we will see the final measure. Finish the probe the same for will be applied to the spring C32C that has an initial measure of 25 divided 8 of inch. We will leave it for a one minute. We will 
say a bang on the shirt. Step 1. Null hypothesis A equals B. Null hypothesis B equals A. Null hypothesis AB equals 0. Step 2. Alternative hypothesis A is different from B. Alternative hypothesis B is different from A. Alternative hypothesis AB is different from 0. Step 3. We use the confidence levels equal to 95%, therefore the level of significance will be equal to 5%. Step 4. Where n equals 27. Step 5. The proof to use is a two-way F ANOVA proof and how we can observe the respective formulas. Step 6. The critical values. For R it is equal to 3. For C it is equal to 3. And for M premium it is equal to 3. As a result for the factor A we have that it is 3.65 and we will have the same result for the factor B. For AB we have a result of 2.93 previously found in the table. Step number 7. Types of springs. For the type of springs C and I C, we have a total of 20.25 with an average of 2.25. For the spring C16C, we have a total of 26.375 inches with an average of 2.25. 93055556 and for the spring C32C we have a total of 28.125 inches with an average of 3.125 for the force of 6 pounds we have a total of 22.9375 inches with an average of 2.5486111 for the strength of 10 pounds we have a total of 24.75 inches with an average of 2.75 and for the strength of 12 pounds we have a total of 22.0625 inches with an average of 3.0096444. For these obtained values, we have a total of 74.75 inches and an average of 8.3055556. We also have x1 equal to 20.25 inches, x2 equals 26.375 inches, x3 that is equal to 28.125 inches, x.1 equals 22.9375 inches x.2 equals 24.75 inches and x.3 is equal to 27.0625 inches and gt equals 74.75 inches in the total table we have x11 equals to 5 inches, x12 equals to 8.5625 inches, x13 
13 equal to 9.375 inches x 14 equal to 6.75 inches x 15 equal to 8.625 inches x 16 equal to 9.376 inches x 17 equal to 8.5 inches x 18 equal to 9.1875 inches and x 19 equal to 9.377 inches To calculate the variance, the formulas shown are developed. 2FA is equal to minus 0 0.0803369226. 2FB is equal to minus 0 0.0203462226. To FAB is equals to minus 0 0.01257293083. Step A. As we can see in the graph of the Gauss bell, for factor A and B is rejected, and for factor AB is rejected too. Step 9. For the factor A and B, the null hypothesis is rejected, and for the factor AB, the null hypothesis is rejected too. For A and B, we conclude that their means are not equal, however, for AB they are different but they are rejected because for some springs it is still the same measure which makes the length factor not change.